uh, dear students, today the topic of our lesson is Robinson Crusoe, and in today's lesson we will discuss questions answers. Learning objectives of the lesson. Uh, we will divide this lesson into two portions. The first one is uh, exercise questions and the second one general questions taken from the text. Exercise questions. Question 1. Who was Daniel Defoe? Answer. Daniel Defoe was a famous writer, merchant, journalist and spy, as well as a novelist and poet. He was born in 1660. Defoe worked at a number of trades before starting to write at the age of 40. Question 2. What happened about two weeks after Robinson Crusoe started his voyage? Answer. He clambered into a boat with three others and rowed towards the shore. A gigantic wave sank the boat and he was the only one who managed to swim ashore. Question 3. What did Robinson Crusoe take from the ship? In your view, which items would have proved most useful? Answer. Robinson Crusoe swam back to the ship to get some things. He took bread, rice, cheese, tools, wood, rope, nails, sails and cloths, guns and ammunition, and sugar and flour. In my view, all these things proved to be useful because he needed each of them at times. Question 4. How did Robinson Crusoe discover uh, he lived on an island? Answer. Uh, Robinson Crusoe discovered that he was on an island when he walked up a little hill and looked around. From there he could see that he was on an island. Question 5. What are some of the tasks Robinson Crusoe did on the island? Answer. Some tasks that Robinson Crusoe did on the island were building a house with a strong stockade around it, exploring, making a boat, learning to make pots, growing corn, rice and wheat, and making bread. Question 6. What are some of the things he found on the island? Answer. Some things he found on the island were wild grapes and limes, wild animals and goats, water and clay. Question 7. What do you think happened to the others in the boat? Answer. Uh, perhaps some good swimmers in the crew will have escaped in one way or the other, while others who couldn't swim well will have certainly drowned in the deep water of the sea in the stormy conditions. Question 8. Robinson Crusoe did not take the gold coins. Do you think that they would have come in useful? Answer. As there was no buyer or seller on the island to trade with, Crusoe hesitated in taking the coins. He thought to himself that the money meant nothing for him. Now, there are some general questions which were found during reading of the text. Uh, question 1. Uh, who is the author of the novel Robinson Crusoe? Answer. Daniel Defoe. Question 2. Uh, how many people managed to get on the boat and how many of them reached the inland alive? Answer. Four people including Robinson Crusoe got on the boat but only Robinson Crusoe reached the inland alive. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वेयर डिड रॉबिनसन क्रूसो स्पेंड हिज फर्स्ट नाइट ऑन द आइलैंड आंसर रॉबिनसन क्रूसो स्पेंड हिज फर्स्ट नाइट ऑन द आइलैंड बिटवीन टू बिग ब्रांचेस ऑफ अ ट्री क्वेश्चन फोर वट डिड ही फाइंड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग आंसर ही फाउंड अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ कूल फ्रेश वॉटर क्वेश्चन फाइव हाउ डिड रॉबिनसन क्रूसो ब्रिंग यूजफुल आइटम्स फ्रॉम द रेक्ट शिप टू द आईलैंड आंसर ही ब्रॉड सम यूजफुल आइटम्स फ्रॉम द शिप इन अ स्मॉल रेफ्ट विच ही मेड फ्रॉम द ब्रोकन वुड मास्ट एंड रोब्स ऑफ द रेक्ट शिप question 6 make a list of all the things which robinson crusoe brought from the wrecked ship answer uh, he brought many useful items including broken mast torn sails pieces of wood and rope bread rice cheese sugar flour tools nails cloth guns and ammunition Question seven: What did Robinson Crusoe feel when he found that he was on an island? Answer: He felt like a prisoner who could not leave the island. He also felt that he was extremely lonely, a man without a friend in the world. Question eight: Why did Robinson Crusoe not want the gold and silver coins? Answer. He did not want the gold and silver coins because he knew that he was on the island and there were no markets or shops on it. Question 9 What did Robinson Crusoe discover when he walked up a little hill and looked around? Answer When Robinson Crusoe walked uh, up a little hill and looked around he discovered that he lived on an island. Uh, dear students this is the end of the lesson and i hope that you would have learned all the main points of the lessons by these questions